So, I uh, here with Daniel Dye. Um, you you still, at least right now, unofficially our third. Um, walk us through what happened there on that last lap. Yeah, a uh, bunch of crazy stuff happened. I was trying to build a run with the 11 and the 71 behind me, and, and eventually we, we got that going. And uh, you know, Raj just started pushing me real good there. I think it was Raj. It might have been Corey. Um, and yeah, just just found our way to the front. Tried to do my best to give uh, the 18 our teammate a push. And I, I don't know if he was connected on the guy in front of him, but he, uh, I don't know if we were on the seams or if he hit a seam, but spinning him out sucks. I, I hate that for those guys, but they had a good points day, so um, hopefully they shook out all right. But uh, I mean, crazy comeback for our 43 team to go from lead in to running third and then a late call to pit road kind of put us in a bind. And um, I was furious, but we, uh, I, I kind of shook it off and, um, we, uh, yeah, P3, I, I guess that's what you said, right, P3? That, unofficially right now. So we'll, we'll see. They, they probably got a ton of stuff to sort out. Um, I was also just going to ask about working that second lane. Y- y'all were trying for those last 10 laps. Why, why did it take so long for it to get going? Well, my truck was wrecked. Most people's trucks were wrecked. So it's hard when I, it's just, this place is tough. It's, it's rewarding if you paint the line all day. Um, I mean, that's what we did last year and finished sixth. So um, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but um, that may work at the end. Works for us. Yeah. Thanks, Daniel. Yep. Uh, Corey, uh, T- Talladega happened there at the end. What did you see from your point of view? Just riding on the bottom. Uh, I didn't really see what happened. Just uh, three or four trucks in front of me checked up, and uh, I had really nowhere to go. Uh, field accordion pretty bad and just got collected. So you, you and Raja were trying to work together to get that outside line going. Um, talk about just why it was so difficult maybe to, to get that momentum building up. I know you were moving, then you had a great save there. Yeah, just not enough trucks. Uh, he had to be overly aggressive to, you know, push me forward and get some momentum rolling. But I think when he had like two trucks behind us, so I uh, just can't really move a line like that. I was hoping that I was going to drop back enough for the 52 to get in line or maybe someone would pick me up in front of me. That was kind of my goal, but no one seemed to budge and that kind of just uh, dissolved pretty fast. How do you feel the two next tracks still uh, fit your skill set looking forward? Yeah, I feel really good about it. Um, the, the two next ones are, are you know, historically pretty good for us. I ran their uh, track on last year, and I think we won both stages. So uh, goal remains the same. We're going to go and try to win. Um, I think our point situation is decent still, so just got to go and be smart and make it to Phoenix. Thank you. As I keep going back and forth to my phones. Um, so, see you grimacing a little bit there. Uh, take us through that last lap and through that crash. You, you were in a ball of fire there across the finish line. Yeah, I mean, I was okay. Um, it was just, you know, it, it, it wasn't that hot. It was just the smoke, the, the cockpit filled up with smoke so quickly and you can't breathe, you can't see anything. They're, you know, telling you to pull the fire pin, but you can't see anything in there. So, you're just trying to evac, right? And then when I got out, I was just trying to catch my breath because there was so much smoke in the car for a second. But yeah, I mean, no, thanks for, you know, to Bill McAnally and everyone at the at, at the race team for building a safe truck, a really fast truck, man. I mean, gosh, we could go anywhere we wanted today. Um, I made a lot of mistakes, but we put ourselves in position at the end. I hate that the that the that Bill has torn up race trucks. So I was p- trying to push the 19. Man, I want to push the 19 to the win. You know what I mean? I wanted to see, uh, you know, a tandem diabetes care, Chevy Silverado and a Napa Chevy Silverado, and, you know, pushing one, two, right? That, that was the goal. And I don't know. I tried when he started to get loose. I tried to let him go, and then I tried to get away from him to give room. And then when he hooked back up the track, kind of collected both of us. So it was a, so, you know, I think we still ended up with decent finishes all in all. I think we we're P seven. Hopefully, I mean, Christian was. I was looking at his door across the finish line, so maybe he's six. I don't. I don't know. But um, just thanks to everyone, uh, Scott, and Mandy, Critchley, everyone that everyone that supports this deal and you know lets me come off the couch. I I sell orange juice for a living, so this is a lot of fun when I get to take a break from the day job and go go play race car driver so just thankful for the opportunity i know it ended in wrecked trucks but overall how would you evaluate your day as you said you're up there running in the front had, had a great car yeah i mean you know gosh i couldn't stop making mistakes early on i spent on pit road and you know i went to the top of three and you know it just the truck is so fast right and i it, the good news was i put myself in a lot of positions so i learned it really well and i think more than anything i'm really proud of myself for being able to get out there and make aggressive pushes right and be able to kind of rise to the occasion because when you're sitting on the couch every weekend, right? You, you think you can do it, right? You, I remember I used to race every single weekend and I know how to get around these plate tracks, but 
you don't know, right? You haven't been in the car in a long time, and I've been doing it once a year, once every other year. So um, it's really it's really gratifying to come off the couch and remind myself, like, hey, I can do this, at least at super speedways, right? Um, I think I can do it at other tracks too, but hopefully more opportunities. But at the end of the day, thankful for this and enjoy every second of it. Thank you so much, Ryan. Thanks. It's good to see you back out there. This is Custom Patch Hat. But what makes us custom? Well, that actually begins with you. We're just bringing your unique vision to life. No knockoffs, no lookalikes. Your design is one of a kind. We know hats, we know design, and we know quality. The proof? It's in our production. Hand stitched with precision and care, with brands you know and trust. A one of a kind patch deserves a one of a kind treatment, all the way to your doorstep. It's how we keep it custom. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Come back soon for more great racing videos. And if you like us, make sure to hit that subscribe button.